Welcome back. If you've ever had a sick or injured pet, you know you would do almost anything to take their pain away. Well, here's a story of a medical first right here in the GTA involving dogs and stem cell therapy. Samir Hussein has that story. I'm very excited and very nervous. This is Lexi. I can't wait she's seven years old. She has severe arthritis in her hips and she's in a lot of pain. <laughs> yeah, but... Dr. Mike Hutchinson is pioneering a new way to treat animals like Lexi. He's tried it several times in the U.S. Today, he's bringing it to this clinic in Mississauga. I thought I'd be a nervous wreck, but now that we're, we're here, I mean, it's, uh, it's very thrilling to have all this technology at our fingertips. Yeah, wherever you feel that fat. Doctors took fat out from behind Lexi's shoulder blade. By putting the fat through a series of steps, they were able to create millions of stem cells. What makes this unique is what happens right here. Rather than sending the fat to a lab in the U.S. to be processed, the stem cells are harvested in the clinic. By injecting the stem cells into Lexi's right and left hip, her own body will start to repair itself. In about three to ten days, she's going to feel a lot of relief. Uh, as time goes on, we're going to find this applicable to so many different uh, disease conditions and degenerative changes that these pets undergo. Pets are one thing, humans are another. I'm very excited about the, this uh, project. The chief of pathology at Mount Sinai says it'll still be a few years before we see this being done on people. There's a, a lot of regulatory issues and uh, clinical evidence that's required before we can um, try new therapies in humans. As for Lexi and her owner, I feel absolutely relieved and really looking forward to her progress. It will still be another six weeks before Lexi's fetching a stick. Samira Hussein, CBC News, Mississauga.